study out today that says women become unhappy as they get older. Well, the flip side, men get happier as life goes on. Now, the researchers, a couple of economists, by the way, they say it happens when we each turn 48. And of the major factors um, coming down, it's all about money. Now, what's that all about? We're going to debate it. Mark Rudolph is a no-nonsense man. And Tracy Burns, our Fox Business reporter, joins me to tell us what's really going on. Tracy, is this true? Come on. I mean, come on. All right, first of all. Don't get me Mark, started. Because I know you've missed me, Mark. First of all, this study was conducted by mostly I men. Can't tell you how and much. when men conduct anything, they talk about their finances because men judge themselves by the, the size of their wallet toys, dare I say. So, you put all your toys together in a parking lot and it makes you happy. If they were to ask other questions in this study about spirituality, about the other aspects of our lives, that women would have taken over. I mean, first of all, a woman hits her sexual prime at 35. Things get much better for us. Hey, I'm 35. This is good for me. All right, uh, Mark, what, I mean, all right, go nuts, because I know you're going to go nuts. Well, first of all, you're presuming that, that unhappiness in women begins in middle age. I'd say it starts when uh, she's a little girl, when she's taught that happiness derives from shoes, jewelry, boob jobs, oh, and pedestals. Lord. And what's interesting, oh, come on, Aunt Alexis, and then you have boys who are taught that they're supposed to make girls happy. I was on the radio two weeks ago in Greensboro, North Carolina, and the host related a story. He overheard his son and daughter talking. So brother goes to sister and says, how come you always have money and I don't? And she says, that's simple. I have a boyfriend and you have a girlfriend. The fact of the matter is, boys are where, taught that they're supposed you? to make in women America? happy. Where, where no, are no, you? he's actually living in the dark ages. This, there's that. I'm not living in the dark ages. This is reality. And if either of you women has ever dated women, you would know what I'm talking about. But you pretend that you don't know what I'm all talking right, about. All right, all right, Mark, so let's get back to... what's happening in middle age... Let's happen in what's happening in middle age here is that women who bring 70% of divorces are divorcing the men that they never wanted to marry to begin with, and so now that's what's making the men happy. That, that's interesting because uh, we, we control the household spending, don't we? Because we, we, we're working more than ever. All right, let's get back to the survey, though, all right? Because basically what they're saying is, is that we are happier in our early adult life and that women are more likely than men to fulfill their aspirations earlier related to material goods and family that is true wouldn't you say Tracy and and it and a good thing it takes men longer to figure out what they want to do in life well I just think this whole notion of basing your happiness on material goods is part of the problem hence part of the reason that this thing was run by men in the first place if there were women on the panel Tracy. if there were women on the panel they would I mean ask any woman if she would choose her car over her children and she'd take the kids any day, whereas I would question a lot of men out there, quite frankly. Tracy, I can't There's believe There's a reason what I that women live say. longer, Mark. Let me tell you. It is because we are stronger yes. and we are happier at the end of the day than most men. And that yes. is factual and you know it. When, when men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. I'm not screaming. When you have, any, you when you have women going no, around. Not. You're Tracy. She left you. Let's Tracy. put that on the table if you Tra want to play this game. Tra Tracy, yes. when women go around comparing their engagement rings to show off who got the most carrots, Whoa, I don't, know don't where you tell find me that women, women don't compete. Mark, don't I don't tell know me that women don't women. compete the women on I material know do not possessions. Care about that kind of stuff. Mark, All right, Mark, get out, Mark. Women compete on houses, divorce settlements, carrots, country clubs. Women compete on money all the time. Give me a break. Wait a you got second. The wrong wait women a second, in your Mark, life, buddy. Mark, well, Mark wait a second. Uh, the, the stature of a yes. lot of men is measured in the car they drive, the golf country club they belong to, and very much the place they live in. You have to admit that. And and whether or not their wives are staying at home and not working. That's exactly what I said at the beginning. Oh, That's cuz men are taught that the way the men are taught that they have to make women happy. The, the fact of the matter is, you can't make anybody happy. You have to make yourself happy. Happiness is a byproduct of achievement. So for women to say that they're unhappy, it's their own fault. 
Anybody who says he's unhappy, it's oh his own goodness, fault. Mark, Everybody I'm, has to I'm make himself or herself you. happy. You're giving me such a bloody headache. Yeah, I mean, where are you from? Where are you from? Dear Trace, Lord, I would never in a Trace, million years teach my girls that they have to grow up to be reliant on a man, as you can well imagine. I would never teach my son well, uh, that he should wonderful. be attracted to a wonderful. But Tracy, you're the same wh one. You're the same one who bragged that she's so strong and so tough and doesn't need a man's money. Yet you're taking alimony. I oh. have three children. Okay, Mark. Who, Mark? You know what, so, Mark, but you don't need a man's money. All right, well, that's it.